Hello again, great to be with you. I hope your, your day is going well. Um, we've been working our way through the Gospel of Mark. We're in Mark chapter 12. Today we're going to look at verses 18 to 27. Another sticky situation for Jesus, I'm afraid. Those verses say this. Then the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him with a question. Teacher, they said, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies and leaves a wife but no children, the man must marry the widow and raise up uh, offspring for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first one married and died without leaving any children. The second one married the widow, but he also died leaving no child. It was the same with the third. In fact, none of the seven left any children. Last of all, the woman died too. At the resurrection, whose wife will she be, since the seven were married to her? Jesus replied, Are you not in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God? When the dead rise, they will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like the angels in heaven. Now about the dead rising, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the account of the burning bush, how God said to him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. You were badly mistaken. I have to confess, I've always felt rather sorry for this poor fictitious woman being passed from brother to brother, as they each met their demise. But I am glad that this is just a fictitious story designed to try and catch Jesus out once again. Jesus was encountering yet another attempt at uh, catching him out. Only this time it was by the Sadducees, who rather made fools of themselves by asking a question based on some flawed theology. They didn't believe in resurrection or eternal life, and they clearly hadn't understood that heaven is not going to be like earth in the way that we know it now. So Jesus had to straighten out their theology and their thinking. Heaven is not going to be like anything we've ever experienced. It will be so much better. As the Apostle Paul wrote, quoting Isaiah, he said, No eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the human heart conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. That's in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Whatever any of us imagine heaven to be like, it will be better. But it won't look like the things that we see here and now. Jesus pointed out, God is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Is, his use of the word is, is present tense, so that statement remains current. He is the God of the living. Resurrection is real. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that heaven will be the same as earth, the way that the Sadducees had conceived it. It just tells us that it'll be better. Our hope is this, that Jesus fought and died for our place in heaven, where all things are made new, where God and mankind will live together, where there will be no more mourning, no more tears, no more death, no more suffering, because the old order of things will have passed away. That's what Revelation tells us too. Sounds good to me. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for the gift of eternal life. Thank you for all you won for us on the cross. I pray, Lord, that you'd help us to receive your gift as you intended it to be, a gift of life for all of us, forever. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.